In this video, I'm going to show a strategy to solving the problem of non-homogeneous variances in the presence of unequal sample sizes. And the example I'm going to use is the Bartholo et al. study, which I've noted in a textbook, has unequal variances when tested statistically with Levine's test. You'll recall that with 3 and 35 degrees of freedom, the Levine's f value is 7.563, and it's statistically significant. And when you look at the groups, we have sample sizes of 8, 9, 11, 11. And the problem, as I point out in the textbook, is that the smallest sample size has the largest standard deviation or variance. And that is the worst possible scenario when you have non-homogeneous variances and unequal sample sizes. And so the solution that I describe in the textbook is that what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make all your groups equal in sample size. And you can only go one way. You have to go down. So the smallest sample size is 8. And so I have to reduce this group here, violent video game players who are females. They need to be dropped by 1. And that'll give them a sample size of 8. And then the nonviolent video game players, males and females, sample sizes of 11 and 11, those two sample sizes have to be dropped to 8 so that every group has a sample size of 8. And in that case, it won't matter that the variances are unequal. So what's the best way to get equal sample sizes in your data file? Well, fortunately, SPSS has a routine that allows you to select cases in a random way. So you can see here, random sample of cases. So if I click that and then sample, and then I can say, select exactly eight cases from the first nine cases, if I wanted to do that first group, to reduce down to eight. Unfortunately, SPSS doesn't know what groups you're talking about. And so what you could do is just copy the group you're interested in reducing, and then create a new data file, and paste them here, and then ask SPSS to select eight cases from these data. Select random sample of exactly eight from the first nine cases and click OK. And you can see that in this data file, SPSS has dropped case nine. So if I delete that, now I've got a new group of eight cases for that one condition that is corresponding to the violent video game players and females. 9. I've dropped one randomly. So I can copy and paste my new sample of 8 cases. It's really an old sample. I've just dropped one. And I can just put them at the bottom here. Paste. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I need to delete the 1's ones, ones and 2's. And that was up here. 1's and 2's. Because I don't want to double up. Oop. It actually starts over here, ones and twos. All right, so that's now solved that problem. The next one is I've got 11 cases of twos and ones. And so I can copy that, get rid of these, and then paste here. And then I want to select data select cases, random case of 8 of the first 11 now. Continue, OK. And let's see, it's done that. Yep, 11, it's dropped 3. So I'm going to delete these, clear, and clear. This is not the only way to do it, to be honest. It's a little bit of a, certainly a way that you can make a mistake if you don't, if you're not careful. And I'm kind of doing this on the fly without writing anything down. So I've just, I've got twos and ones have now been dropped down to eight. And I can just delete these twos and ones, which there are 11 going from here to here. Delete those. And now I've got my last one, twos and twos. This is the last group of 11. And I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to put those in here. And I want to select eight of these. Yep, same thing. I could delete them immediately. There's an option there. Data, select cases. Delete unselected cases if you want. 
you could do that but I'm not going to do it I'm going to just do it manually clear clear and clear and so now I've got eight again of twos and twos and put that in my file here and I'm going to delete the twos and twos that was the original 11 so now I should have eight of each of the four groups so let's actually look at that yes I've got eight 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 across all the groups so I've solved my problem of unequal sample sizes in the presence of heterogeneous variances Levine's is still statistically significant it's still telling me that the variances are not equal but because I have equal sample sizes I'm not very concerned and here is my P, my test of the interaction effect is actually no longer statistically significant p equal 0 0.079 now what did I report in the textbook I actually reported that the interaction was no longer significant with p equal 0 0.070 based on an f value of 3.55 now my result is a little bit different because SPSS has randomly selected the eight cases from the four groups when I did this the first time to write the textbook SPSS chose a different random selection as you'd expect it to do so don't expect your results to correspond to mine if you decide to do this exercise on your own you're gonna get a slightly different result and so in this case it's very similar I still can't reject a null hypothesis so that is how you can solve the problem of unequal variances in the presence of unequal sample sizes you have to reduce the sample sizes to the smallest one and you pay the price with with power and that's unfortunate, but we can't trust the p-value otherwise.